I've been trying to guess what Daryl did before the turn. I was trying to guess for like six weeks. Homicide cop. <laughs> hey, Walking Dead fans. This is going to be a redo update video of what they did before the apocalypse started. What people's jobs were and what they did before the apocalypse. So this video will cover seasons one through four. A whole bunch of the characters, the good guys and the bad guys. More videos on the way with the rest of the seasons. But let's jump right in with Rick Grimes. Nice moves there, Clint Eastwood. You the new sheriff? Come riding in to clean up the town? In the show, Rick was a sheriff's deputy in King County, Georgia. He grew up there with his best friend, Shane Walsh. Both went to college for police administration and both became deputies stationed at King County Sheriff Department. Rick and Shane were partners on the force and like brothers in real life. The comic Rick and Shane were actually in Cynthiana, Kentucky instead of Georgia and he met Shane on the job and became best friends. Lori Grimes. In the show, Lori was just a housewife as far as we know, but in the comic, she was also an art student. She drops out her freshman year at art college to return to Cynthiana to be with Rick. Carl Grimes. Of course, he was just a kid and just a student at the time. In the comic, Morgan probably lived close, if not in Cynthiana, Kentucky, and not much is known about his past. The show Morgan is from Macon, Georgia. And we don't know his exact occupation or about his past either, but we've seen him through the different seasons. Um, he's, he's got many skills. Hey, kid. What'd you do before all this? Delivered pizzas. Why? Glenn Ree. He's a favorite in both the show and the comic. The comic and show Glenn was a pizza delivery boy pre-apocalypse. This helped him know the layout of downtown Atlanta, which helped him move around the city fast. The comic version of Glenn was also a college student and sometimes a car thief. Andrea. Andrea's had two different storylines in the show versus the comic, but their backgrounds are similar. Comic Andrea graduated college and worked as a clerk at a law firm. And on the way back from a road trip together with her sister Amy, taking Amy back to college, their car breaks down and Dale picks them up. Uh, the show Andrea also graduated college and became a civil rights attorney. And again, returning from a road trip with her sister, taking her back to college, the two are stranded in Atlanta. Dale helps them get to his RV and escape the city. We would have seen a glimpse of this if Frank Darabont had been able to shoot his Tank Walker episode. You can find out more about that. Watch that video. The link is in the description. Okay, then there's Amy, and as stated, she was just a college student. That's all we know about her pre-apocalypse. And Dale. In the comic, Dale was a retired salesman. For 40 years, he sat behind a desk on a phone. Uh, so out of retirement, he buys an RV, and him and his wife, Irma, was on the road about two years before the zombie apocalypse happened. Irma dies early on in the apocalypse, and he comes upon Amy and Andrea on the side of the road a little bit after that. In the show, Dell's wife dies from cancer before the outbreak. He decides to go on his RV trip alone, and he's in Atlanta when the outbreak happens, and he rescues Andrea and Amy. And T-Dog. He's a character created for the show. He was only scripted for a few episodes, but lasted three seasons. All we know is that he was a college football player or former college football player. And Jackie. Jackie's another show-created character. Jackie was a zoning department worker. How do you know that? It's my job. Was. I worked in the city zoning office. Merle Dixon was a show-only character. He was not in the comic. And Merle hails from the mountains of North Georgia. He joined the military, but he was dishonorably discharged because he punched an officer. But before the apocalypse, Merle was basically a drug dealer. Him and his brother Daryl grew up in an abusive household. And Daryl started hanging out with Merle after their father died. So Merle and Daryl were both drifters before the apocalypse. Daryl just kind of followed Merle around. And we can probably say neither one, especially Daryl, probably never really held a real job before the apocalypse. So funny. Nothing. It makes perfect sense. And then Jim, Jim was one of the first ones to leave us. And he was an auto mechanic before the outbreak. 
Uh, he was a mechanic in the comic also. And the Carol in the show is much different than the Carol in the comic, just all the way around. Carol died early in the comic. She's still around in the show. She's badass in the show. She was a little more fragile, you could say, in the comic. Carol was married to Ed and had a daughter, Sophia. And Ed was physically and mentally abusive to both of them. And we find out that the reason she keeps her hair short is because when it was longer, Ed used to grab it and use it to uh, reach out and grab her so she keeps it short so he couldn't do that anymore. But she was basically just a housewife. And her counterpart, Comic Carol, she was basically a housewife as well. Sometimes she tried to sell Tupperware. And I think Ed was a car salesman in the comic. So let's move on to Herschel. So Herschel is a veterinarian in both the comic and the show. His background, though, was a little different in uh, both. He did grow up on the farm in both, but in the comic, he went off to the city to become a veterinarian, and he met his first wife, and he had seven kids, Maggie and a bunch of them. Beth is a made-up character for the show. We'll get to her in a second. But in the comic, his wife dies, and then he moves back to the farm with his kids. And in the show... Herschel remarries a lady named Annette that we meet in the show, and she already has a son, Sean, and it's Annette and Herschel who had Beth. And Beth Green, Herschel's daughter, was just a student, a high school student uh, during the outbreak when it happened. But Maggie was a college student. She had graduated high school, and in the comics, she flunked out of college and was back home. And then we got Tyrese, his comic character and his show character, they have a little bit different backgrounds, but they both were former NFL football players. It's said in the comic that he played for the Atlanta Falcons. But once he was injured, Tyrese worked as a bouncer for a little while. And then he took on some odd jobs before settling in as a car salesman. And he was a car salesman for about five years before the outbreak happened. And in the show, we learn he's from Jacksonville, Florida. And on The Talking Dead, Chad Coleman said that he was an NFL player, and that mirrors what he was in the comic. But his family's a little different in both. In the comic, Tyrese had a daughter. And in the show, he has a sister, Sasha. She's a made-up character for the show. She's not in the comic. And he has a girlfriend, Karen. And what about Sasha? They both had a very disciplined father. He was a war veteran. And as a kid, Sasha would follow Tyrese around and do everything that he did. So as I said, they're from somewhere in Jacksonville, Florida. So I was thinking that's possibly where Sasha was employed as a firefighter. And remember Bob Stuckey? We don't know a whole lot about Bob before the outbreak began, but we know at some point he served in the U.S. military as a medic. And we did see that he has an alcohol problem stemmed from something probably before the outbreak began. And moving on to Abraham. Abraham was a United States Army sergeant. It's a little unclear in the TV show if he was still in the army or the guard or anything like that when the apocalypse happened. But in the comic, I think he had already gotten out of the army um, by the time the apocalypse took place. He lived in Houston, Texas, and he had a wife and a couple of kids that he lost early in the apocalypse. And when we meet Abraham, we also meet Rosita. And Rosita was a medical assistant or doctor's assistant before the apocalypse. And most of her skill set, which ranges from mechanic to explosives and guns, knives, she learned that from different boyfriends after the apocalypse. And the third will in that group, of course, was Eugene. In the comic, Eugene was a high school science teacher. And he's definitely a smart guy because he put it to good use and used his intelligence to survive in the zombie apocalypse because he was not a warrior. In the TV show, I'm not sure if it ever actually says what he did prior to the outbreak but of course he lied and said that he worked on the human genome project with nine other scientists dealing with research on how to combat diseases with other diseases i was part of a 10-person team at the human genome project that weaponized diseases to fight weaponized diseases so funny nothing it makes perfect sense and i think it was in the comic that he cut his hair into that mullet after the apocalypse, and he said the reason that he did that was that it takes uh, some of the focus off of his intelligence. The character of Tara had aspirations of becoming a police officer. She never did make it to that point, though, before the outbreak began. The character Tara is based on a character in the novels about the governor, the rise of the governor, but she is not in the comic. 
In the TV show, she had a sister, Lily, who was a nurse before the apocalypse. And how about the governor? And his whole backstory, that's just a whole nother video right there. But he was simply a middle management employee. In the TV show, his name is Philip Blake. And he was married with a daughter named Penny. His wife died in the show, I think, in a uh, car accident several months before the outbreak. Uh, and his daughter Penny, we see in the show, she had been bitten and turned. And the comic governor gets his backstory from the novels. And in that novel series, he's moved back in with his parents after a brief marriage. Cesar Martinez, and he was in the show and the comic. They were a little bit different characters. The guy in the comic, though, what he did before the outbreak started was gym teacher. And that's pretty much what the TV show character's background was as well. It's listed as coach. And what about Milton? He's about the closest thing to Eugene, I guess, that we've had on the show. And he was actually a research scientist uh, before the apocalypse as well as after, I guess you could say. So then there's Michonne. Michonne's a pretty mysterious character as far in the show, the way she appeared in that hood. And as we found out in later seasons, her trying to draw up that charter for the communities, she was a lawyer uh, in her past. Although in the comic, she's from Kentucky, and in the TV show, she's from Atlanta. And Father Gabriel, he was definitely a priest before the apocalypse, and he ended up being one after. One difference is he's from Virginia in the comics and from Georgia in the TV show. And lastly, to wrap up this video, let's go over Gareth. Gareth, we don't know what he did before the outbreak. And he is based on Chris, the leader of the Hunters, from the comics. And we don't know his background either. I'm going to stop right there with the characters up to Season 4. Starting in Season 5, it just opens up to many, many more characters, good and bad. As far as the next videos, unless it's a major character that we just don't know the background, I'll mention that. But if it's a more minor character, I probably won't even mention them at all in the video uh, if we don't know what they did before the apocalypse. But definitely, if I miss somebody, put it in the comments below and we'll see if we can figure it out. What they did before the apocalypse started. Stay tuned for the next videos for the rest of the seasons. Check out the videos on the rest of the channel. And as always, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more dead stuff.